take off on runway 18, which is 7,300 feet. We'll use uh, approximately 1,000 or less. Uh, rotation speed. Uh, 87 Kilo Bravo, Davis Center Tower, hold short runway 18 Kilo, waiting out for release. Rotation speed is six, 60 miles per hour. And uh, what we'll be doing is uh, I'm going to be pushing the nose down slightly to stay in ground effect until we reach 70. And then we'll be gradually climbing at uh, 80 miles an hour of VY. I'll be putting the flaps up after we've cleared any kind of obstacles. But in this case, we don't have any. Did you see that big tree that they planted right there in front of the about 2,000 foot line? We do have an obstacle. So I don't use flaps. No, for a soft field, you do use flaps, right? For soft field, you always use flaps. Always, Ten regardless. Yep. Ten degrees. Yeah, because you're trying to get the uh, up off the ground. Yeah. Anytime you've got a rough surface or a short surface, then you want to use 10 degrees of flaps. But just understand that it will negate your climb with that 10 degrees of flaps. Okay. Not much, but it is a little bit. Okay, we're going to pull up to the hold short line. One coming in from the right. Parking 87 Kilo Bravo, contact AC departure, Roman 8 point dinner. Have a good day. Wendy. New Century Tower, Cessna 972, November Charlie at Kilo 18, ready for departure. Time, uh, but you'll. We're going to have you. Uh, have an engine problem somewhere along the way here. here. All right, you just lost an engine. Go around. Really nicely done. Pardon? Uh, just call the tower and ask them what do you want you to do. 
our uh, instructions for whether to uh, taxi back. Listen, turn to Vermont Charlie, make a 1 800 runway, back taxi all the way down. And you guys ready to depart? Back taxi all the way back. To November Charlie. Yeah, we'll tell we're ready. We'll be ready to depart at the end. We'll be ready to depart as soon as we get to the end. Roger. Must not be busy at all. I'm sorry? Must not be busy at all. Nope, he's not. But no, that was a great job. You did, you reacted really well. I mean, you knew it was coming, but at the same time, you're going from I'm taking off mode to I need to land this mode. And so, and that's what you always have to be thinking about is you, you got to always be expecting I'm going to lose an engine. I'm going to lose an engine. Where do I go? What happens? What do I do? You got to be spring loaded for that. But you handle it really nicely. Good job. Thank you. Was the uh, first part of the takeoff? That was great. Another soft field? Yeah, let's do that. That's a 972 November Charlie, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff 18, 972 November Charlie. I had to get higher before you take flaps off. Okay. Now you're pretty good. Yeah. Got a couple hundred feet underneath you, so that's good. And pitch over four. Economy cruise. Time off is 1020.
Test, test, test. <coughs> test, test, test. There we go. Seem to be having that static that I was having before, so that's good. Power's full. Mixture full rich yet. Time speed, we're at 85 mile an hour right now. Landing light off. Checklist complete. And probably about 85 knots would be a good cruise climb. Okay. That kind of depends on, you know, density, altitude, and all, but. Uh, So 76 knots for VY, right? About 85 knots for uh, a cruise climb. This gives you a lot better forward visibility over the howling. Kind of look at the uh, stack there, and the scene. Yeah. Celsius right here. What a beautiful day. Yeah, I'm surprised it's not busier at the airport. Maybe everybody already left. Huh, look at that, your ground speed is 101. You've got a tailwind right now. Huh. There must be a slight shear then because the waves are... Yeah, the winds are from the southwest, but... You've got a ground speed of what you're a little bit... About 90 knots, now a little less. Thousand feet two nine nine at one five. Thousand feet three four eight at one seven. 
Oh yeah, you've got. Uh. Interpolating between that, Windsor three two zero at sixteen. Hey, what's a good cruise uh, uh, power setting? 2300. Yeah, probably, you know, if you're on cross country, probably about 24, it'll be 24 to 2500 probably. Oh, okay. I checked the, you know, the POH. On. I set it for about 2400 right now. 2350. What we get out of it. Uh, so that's 2300 there. Let's go about 2400. About a parallax from up here. <laughs> Power is set. Trim is set. Gauge is in the green. Fixture set. Instrument set. At a slight climb. Uh, so push your nose down for that, and then retrim. Columbia 6509 Alpha, New Central Ground, runway 18, text V uh, Alpha Kilo, crash runway 4, taxiway Alpha. Almost looks like snow out there. Yeah, it does. Checklist complete. Your next waypoint? That's a lot of me. Okay. We get uh, directly west of it. Just across the highway. Uh, why don't we see if we can't raise uh, Columbia Radio? So we receive on 121.1. I know you're, tra you're transmitting at 121.1. It's at 115.9. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in first. 115.9, you need to put that into active. 21.9, or so 115.9, so put that in the active. Now you can listen to it on nav 2. Now put in 121, 122.1. 
And there's the identifier for Butler. Yep. Yep. Pretty good. Yep. Twenty-two point one. You can uh, this is full ident, but we're getting the ident anyway. For why that's doing that, but. checkpoint is ten thirty one. So, why don't you go ahead and call Columbia Radio. And, uh, you know, you could ask him for, uh, we'd like the weather and uh, we're VFR. Yeah, we're, uh, so give him your position, just like normal kind of, here, your uh, 20 miles south of, uh, you know, India X-ray Delta. Uh, En route to Tulsa, you like to get the weather for Tulsa. The Columbia Center? I'll be a radio. I'll be a radio. Columbia Radio, Cessna 9 or 7 2, November Charlie, approximately. Oh, just that. Oh. <laughs> and you want to tell me you're receiving on 115.9 Butler VOR. Yeah. Columbia Radio, Cessna 972 Road Charlie, uh, transmitting on 122.1, receiving on 115.9er. Columbia Radio, Cessna 972 November Charlie, transmitting on 121, 122.1, receiving on 115.9. November Charlie, Columbia Radio. I couldn't understand this. <laughs> Columbia Radio, yeah, so he just responded to you. Uh, we're on VFR flight to Tulsa. I wonder if I could get the weather for Tulsa. Yeah, just tell them they're, tell they're uh, unreadable. Columbia Radio, uh, you're unreadable at this time. We'll try later. Uh. All right, so let's try the other thing is I'm off course here. Go ahead and kill that there. Let's try to put it 122.0. So just I'd flip that back and then just go 122.0. Clear for takeoff, Southwest turns approved. Runway 18, clear for And now try Columbia Radio. Same thing, 972 number Charlie. Columbia Radio. Columbia, this is nice. Columbia Radio, Cessna 972, November Charlie. All right, go and try one more time. Columbia Radio, Cessna 972, November Charlie. All right. So let's try 120, uh, 122.45. Where was 122? Uh, so, you know, I, I'm just, I was just thinking I may have, it might be, that's the old flight watch frequency, I think. I think it's 122.2, 122.45, try that. Spartan 6-6, six, six, if you're ready, cross runway 18, Bravo to the bend runway. And that is Wichita Radio. Uh, 
out of Topeka. Columbia Radio. Oh, Wichita Radio. Wichita Radio. Cessna 972, November Charlie. Cessna 972, November Charlie. Wichita Radio. Uh, we're on a VFR uh, flight to Tulsa. Uh, approximately uh, 30 miles southwest of India X-ray Delta. Like the the weather for Tulsa. Number seven nine two November Charlie. What's your altitude? Four thousand five hundred. In November uh, seven nine two November Charlie. I'm assuming you're going to. Tango Uniform Lima, Telephone International. They're 1553 Zulu Mitar shows the wind 230 at 5, visibility 10, clear below 12,000. Temperature 3, dew point minus 1, and altimeter 3020. Um, looks like the forecast there from now until 1800 Zulu. Wind 200 at 4, unrestricted visibility and sky clear. 18 to 0, 100 Z, wind 260 at 8, unrestricted visibility and sky clear. So it looks pretty good for the rest of the day. Uh, over. Columbia Radio, thank you. Wichita Radio. <laughs> Wichita Radio, thank you. 972 November Charlie. All right, so if you wanted to, you could have given a pie rep for here, too. November uh, 7902 November Charlie, no problem. I'll report your request for additional weather. You can contact me on radio. Burlington Altimeter is showing 3011 and have a good rest of your flight today. Ask about the uh, flight service, uh, the, oh, the general flight service. Is it 122.2? Uh, Wichita Radio, uh, what's the uh, frequency for flight service? And uh, November 7902, November Charlie, I'm not sure what you're asking. We are flight service. Uh, I just ask him if there's a general is the, if there's a general flight service frequency that we can the 122.2. Uh, what I was asking is if there's a general flight service frequency that we could use. <coughs> November 7, 19, November Charlie. Really, just kind of depends on where you're located at, because the RCOs may have different frequencies depending on where you're at. Generally, 122.2 is a very common one, but it's not everywhere, so it's just kind of depending on where you're at. Okay, thank you very much. To November, Charlie. I would look for, uh, actually, 122.2 works good for southeastern Kansas, for northeastern Oklahoma, also 122.2. When you cross into Oklahoma, of course, it'll be McAllister radio, though. Affirmative. 972, November, Charlie. All right. Very good. Where are you at now? Just about even with Butler. I believe that's Garnett over there. Centered needle. And you're right on track there. How about any, you know, so you've got uh, Garnett there that you looked at. Yep. Here's a road that kind of curves right there. Does that show in the sectional? Got a little jog right here. Yeah, look, you see the jog right there? Yeah. Yep. So we're just uh, to the east of it. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Good job. All right, let's head back to Miami County. We've gone to Garnett before, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Short for short field. I mean, if we're here, if you, if you want to, we could go there. Or we could do back, go back to Miami County. Your choice. Um, well, let's go back to Miami. Okay. All right, so we're doing a diversion. How do you do a diversion? Uh, first look to see exactly where it is, which is pretty much on a uh, about a 60 degree heading. Okay, so go to zero six zero, if that's what you think. So 
So you're right here, and here's Miami County. That's going to be a little less than that. That's so about 30 to 20. And you can, again, remember you can use your EOR. Good that you're uh, just on the side of that jog in the road. You can go over here like that and say, oh, it's about maybe 020. Zero, zero. Look at that, 022. Two. How about That's, that? You have, a, you have a really accurate finger. <laughs> so what, did you, what did you do there? Try again. It's still, still telling Tulsa. Oh, I thought I said it. Telling you direct track two zero two two set zero two two. Hi uh, Charlie Hotel. This traffic south of the airport. Are they coming in as well? Hotel, uh, same position, you're out to the southwest? Yeah, I'm at the north. You're saying no one's flying to hell, it got busy. Oh my. Everybody's up. I mean, look at that shit. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me, uh, YouTube followers. <laughs> Everybody and their brothers up there now. Mostly below us, right? Well, no, this is all at New Century here, right? Okay, but I was looking over here. Oh, yeah. So we're, we're way down here. Traffic for runway 29, full stop, police summit. We're way down here. But there is this guy here at our level, about three miles to the northwest. Radio traffic 811 Charlie Tango departing the pattern to the southwest. All right, so if you didn't have this nice fancy box here, Hotel Charlie. we're flying to back to Miami County. What are some other Stop. visual land points you could use? Showing nine miles out. Gardner traffic, Kyle, 294 X ray, 5 south inbound, Gardner. That is uh, probably Parker. Right down here. There's a railroad that runs through it from the northeast to the southwest. Dorado traffic, Skyhawk 8 Hotel Charlie on final for runway 22 El Dorado. So that's Parker. Uh, oh, we got the uh, power plant over there. At yeah, that Lacine. That power plants are fantastic landmarks, uh, especially days like this when yeah. we got steam coming up. That gives you a pretty good idea. You're directly ten miles to the northwest for runway two. Yeah, directly west of the power plant right now. You've got it marked right there. You know you're directly west. Um, you're correct about Parker there. First traffic is in the downwind. Gardner traffic stock, it's not for What are all those white things in the direction you're headed? Gardner. Storage tanks? You know, look on the sectional because it'll be on there. The sectional is going to have a lot of things that are, you know,
know, visible from a long way off. Okay. To help pilots, you know, help identify. I believe okay. A31 is... Uh, and we've got I-35 right west, here. Uh, coming in for touch and goes. Oh, on or 169, I mean. We're going to be simulating engine fire over the airport with uh, emergency descent into uh, power off landing. Uh, KC-31, Abilene. Here's a railroad track right here that you're following. It came out of Parker. Yep. It, feels it goes almost all right up to uh, Lee Summit. Right through Ottawa. Yeah. Uh, not Ottawa, but or er, I saw Ottawa. Yeah. Which is right there. Westbound 1600 Lee Summit. Traffic, Skyhawk 8, Hotel Charlie. There's a town of Beagle, I never even knew it. <coughs> even heard of that one. Right there? No. Uh, that's a small burg. <laughs> Gardner, Skyhawk 8, turn on for X ray, left base to final, 2 6, Gardner. Would you estimate you are to K81 right now? Field trip 76. They are now 34. Be circling land 16. I would say. Crosswind for runway 22, Eldorado. Very uh, 10 to 12 miles. Close. You're 9.25 according to the GPS. That's pretty good. So yeah, just think of oh, on your windscreen. You know, it's going to vary with altitude, but the altitudes we fly at. So there's. That's about 10. That's about 5. Traffic, Skyhawk 1. Oh, okay. Turning downwind for runway 22, touch and go, El Dorado. Lee Summit, Cessna 84019 or midfield crossover, downwind 2 niner, full stop, Lee Summit. El Dorado traffic, Skyhawk 8, Hotel Charlie's turning base, runway 22, El Dorado. Please send the traffic, Mooney, to the back, we're four to the south, anticipate entering uh, left downwind for runway 29, full stop, please send it. So it's frost on a certain field, kind of field. I don't know if those are bean fields or what. Climbing through. It's only on those, those certain ones. I mean, it's no, nowhere else around here, right? Well, and it follows that track. So I wonder if there wasn't some temperature. That's weird. Moisture thing happening there. The snow. <laughs> I mean, it'd be weird if it's only snow in those fields, like yeah. not, you know. Four and a half miles from the south. But they're plowed fields, so maybe that's a land one six. I can still traffic. Everything else around here looks like it's pasture or stuff, and not a plowed field. McPherson traffic, Saratoga three zero one two Lima, four miles south, crossing over the field at six thousand five hundred. Uh, we'll continue north one two Lima. Okay, so how far above the uh, airport are you? Eldorado. Gardner traffic, Cherokee 1765 Tango, entering a two mile right base for runway 35. Altitude wise, 3400. Yep. Yeah. And. Terminal 2, Fernando Mail Flight. How far away now? Columbia Lake, last call, southwest bound. Six miles. Yeah. Do you think you can glide there? Midfield at 2500. And then it's. Uh, runway 22, Eldorado. I think I can. Okay, pull the pipe. Pull power back, let's see. Whiskey kilos, five miles northwest, inbound for landing. Landing County. Elder Aid traffic, Skyhawk 165 is on extended final for runway 22. Elder Aid Two and a half miles from the southeast, RNF 34, circle land 16, traffic. 
38 to Quebec, turning left downwind to runway 29, full stop. Lisa. Okay, so I don't know if you heard him, but crosswind. Uh, Whiskey, A2, 1A2 Whiskey Kilo is coming in there. So just give him a call, let him know you're 5 Southwest. Uh, 6,500, 1, 2 Lima for McPherson traffic. Miami County, Cessna 9 or 7, 2 November, Charlie, 5 Southwest. On is downwind for runway 22 Eldorado. Eldorado traffic, Skyhawk 8. <laughs> Other traffic, Scott, 5 for 1 is a beam. The number's on 2 2. Do you have a sign in the downline? 1 7 6. We had you in sight on your upwind and crosswind turns. So we should be in front of you. Miami County traffic, Cessna 182 Whiskey Kilos, 2 miles west. Being there in a left downwind for a runway 3, Miami County. Gardner traffic, Cherokee 1765. Really? Okay. Uh, new Century still saying 230 at 6, so. That's runway 22. Yep. Right. That's what I would do it. Eldorado traffic, stock five for one is left space for runway 22, Eldorado. Field traffic, flight 476, and our left down with 16, taking field traffic. Miami County, you're three south southwest, practicing an emergency power off landing. Quebec, turning left base to final two nine full stop. Resummit. Miami County, Cessna nine or seven two November Charlie, uh, three miles southwest, practicing emergency landing on two two. Miami, Miami, Miami County. Miami County traffic two whiskey kilos left base on way three. For runway 22, we're looking for him. There he is, I got him. Half a good sight. Right over that pond right now. Two whiskey kilos turning final, runway 3. Miami County. I still don't see him. Uh, right over the highway right now. Full stop. Or see the drive in theater? He's passing right over it right now. I got him. Eldorado traffic, Skyhawk 165 is turning downwind for runway 22, touch and go, Eldorado. Going oh, slow. Great bend traffic, 35 miles. Uh, now, if this were a real emergency, you'd just land on... 5251, we are... You need to? Yep, it, yep. Like, you know, you're down to 1,800 feet here. Yep. Five miles northeast, landing, 1A or small track. They don't give it any power right now. Uh, okay. No power yet. Miami County traffic. Okay. Two whiskey kilos, backpack to you, runway three. Miami County. Two Eldorado. Higginsville traffic, that's 5427 Fox. I just want to see how far you can get with the... Uh, eight miles to the northwest. I just glide. Uh, Miami traffic, Cessna 972, November Charlie, on uh, left downwind for 2 1. Start our app. Miami traffic. Oh, you've got, him, you've got him on the runway. All right, go ahead uh, and power up. We have traffic on the runway. 2 November Charlie. Traffic is A33, turning downwind for 36 and first track. Alright, so, Mike Charlie, we're uh, two south of 
Six miles out. 3,500 feet, right? So. Yes. And you were able, you were you would, would have been able to successfully glide to it. You wouldn't be able to get into the pattern, but you would have been able to land on that runway. Yeah. Six miles away, 3,500 feet. Yeah, I would have had to scrub scrub some off even. I think. To yeah, yeah, you would have. Uh, Alright, we'll let you do that pilot crap here. Do a short field landing. Let them know you're on base. Miami traffic, Cessna 972 November Charlie on base for 2 1. Miami traffic. Miami County traffic, 2 whiskey kilos, clear of 3 2 1. Miami County. 46430, making a right turn to the southwest off 16 Higginsville. Laredo traffic, Skyhawk. Yeah, road traffic, Skyhawk, East Coast, 75 miles. Four miles to the west, we'll be crossing midfield at 3000 to join a downwind. Aurora. Oh, where are you going to land? Try to land on the second short center mark. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh. Too fast. Yep, a little bit fast. Miami traffic, Cessna 972, November Charlie. Got a back taxi on runway 21. Miami traffic. Garner traffic, check you one second. Yep. So, um, I was with a student last week and all that, and here, and here, and I was checking that we were working on emergency procedures, right? Uh huh. And uh, I looked on the ADSB, no one's around there, so it'd be good for coming down here to work. We pull off there, turn around, get ready to taxi back, and there's a guy calling inbound. Okay, we'll just sit here and wait for him. And another, and another. It ten planes coming inbound for lunch. Holy crap! Sat there, sat there, and sat there. We got to. The student got to pay for a lot of. Air, air show. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> that was really unfortunate. Real life, though, but it's unfortunate. About 2,000. Getting out on the intercom. I uh, test. Uh, oh, I got you. That might have been my squelch. Field, short field, obstacle, uh, obstacle. Let them know you're departing runway two one. Miami traffic, Cessna 972, November Charlie, departing two one. Miami traffic.
All right, you're over the obstacle. Pitch down. Traffic Cessna 972 November Charlie left downwind for runway 21 Miami traffic Miami County experimental two for mail flight of two ten miles to the northeast descending through five thousand about landing Miami. I guess the traffic. Skyhawk 811, Charlie Tango, six miles to the east, be entering a right face for 35, Augusta. County, Cessna 972, November Charlie, left base, runway 21. Miami County. I say don't for, forget your before landing checklist. Yes, Next undercarriage, Cessna, mixture. 32710 to the east inbound. Power. Power. Right Switches. Seat belts. El Dorado traffic, Skyhawk 165 is turning downwind for runway 22, cut to go, El Dorado. Cessna 972, November Charlie on final, 2-1. Miami County. Are you a full stop? Full stop. Roger, thank you. Let him 
Yeah, I do want you to break there, you know, to go through the hole. Yeah, but you nailed it. I thought I could see him <laughs> just as we hit. I just do a 180 here. Out past the. Yeah, I just do a 180 here. Little short here. Miami traffic, Cessna 972, November Charlie, clear 2 1. Miami County, Criminal 2, for a short final 2 1, full stop. Miami. Two. I just tell me you're holding short at the taxiway. Midfield, midfield taxiway. Less than 972 November Charlie holding short at uh, midfield taxiway. Yeah. Aircraft holding short, you got the two airplanes on approach? Yep, there they are. We have traffic in sight on approach. Two November Charlie. Coming for lunch. RV. Anybody else coming in? Miami County, Cessna 972, November Charlie, back taxiing to uh, runway 21, Miami County. Miami County, 249, runway flight to clear back to Miami. I don't recall. Were you talking to me much on the way down? I just had to remind you of your uh, your landing checklist. Need to get in the habit of just doing that as soon as they turn downwind. That would be my cue. Remember we talked about the first third, first third of the runway? Hey, get yourself leveled up, trimmed up, and do your checklist. Next third, make your radio calls. The next third, you're... Hey, you're flying your descent. Hey, your choice of takeoff. Another 
the short field. All right. Let's see if we can get off a little sooner. I rotate sooner? Uh, no, I'm just saying from a power perspective. Let's okay. Because you used about a thousand feet. Okay, so this is no flaps, over an obstacle. Miami County, Cessna 972, November Charlie, uh, ready for takeoff on 2 1. Miami County. You're departing runway 2 1. Break clock, full power. Forward. For 62 knots. Hey, you're past the obstacle, so 76. So you took off about 900 feet there, it's about 100 feet shorter. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's just tired. <laughs> the plane? Yeah. It's not a new bird. Elgrade, it's at the sky of 165 and turning crosswind for runway 22, Elgrade. Yeah, keep your keep your uh, elevator neutral. Okay. You have a tendency to pull back on it. That pitches you up a little bit. What does that do? It slows you down. Yeah. Or drag. Elevator traffic, Skyhawk 165 is turning downwind. Miami County, Cessna 9 or 7, 2 November Charlie, left downwind for 2 1, Miami County. S, undercarriage, mixture, power, switches, seat belts. So look, uh, look at the wind, what the wind's doing to you. Pushing you a little bit, so you need to crab up. Yep. There's quite a bit of difference. It's, it's, there's not a big wind shift, you know, that you go through either, right? Augusta traffic, 811 Charlie Tango turning final, 36 Augusta. A lot of times we go up through it and we'll have turbulence, yeah. but we don't have that today. El Dorado traffic, Skyhawk 8 Hotel Charlie turning crosswind, runway 22 El Dorado. El Dorado traffic, Skyhawk 165 is turning base for runway 22 El Dorado. Uh, soft field or short field? What are you going to do? Do soft field. Then. Soft field, okay. You've got a solo flight next week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the schedule is I scheduled a few more last night, so I was trying to think. All right, let's turn here. Let's not go too far out this time. Neosho traffic. Those are Tech 399 is a Cherokee coming in for from the northeast. Um, currently four nautical miles to the northeast of the Neosho Airport. Miami County, Cessna 972, on base 21, Miami County. Just properly be left base 21.
Miami County, Cessna 972, November Charlie, on final 2-1, Miami County. Just go to break and do, turn around back in. Miami County, Cessna 972, back taxi on 2 1, Miami County. I had a softer landing on the first, first <laughs> landing I had here. Then. Yeah, I kind of wonder if you're going to uh, do your round out there. Time for one more. Yep. Soft field? Soft field takeoff? Yeah. Up here. Get yourself configured for soft field. Hey, Miami County traffic, Cessna 972, number Charlie, departing runway 21, be in the pattern of Miami County. That wasn't very smooth. Yeah, that was not uh, your best.
Miami County, System 972, November Charlie, left downwind, 2 1, Miami County. Hey, give me a quick look here, Mark. Augusta traffic, 811, Charlie Tango, turning base, Augusta. Observation at wow. one two two Zulu, which is Z T one zero altimeter three zero one three weather advisories wind two five zero at six temperature six Celsius two point one Celsius humidity seven one percent density altitude missing condensation altitude three thousand five hundred. Got a hey Garnett. Police off of traffic, Skyhawk 46430, crossing uh, runway 1A36, and make a left downwind for 2-9 or Lee Summit. Access to 972 November Charlie, left base 21, Miami County. Lee Summit traffic, Skyhawk 46430, turning left crosswind for runway 29, Lee Summit. Redwood traffic, Skyhawk 8 Hotel Charlie, turning crosswind runway 22, El Dorado. Downwind, runway 22, El Dorado. Lee Summit traffic, Skyhawk 46430, turning left downwind for 29, Lee Summit. Miami County, Cessna 972, November Charlie, on final for 21, Miami County. Where are you going to land? I was going to do the soft field again. No, where are you going to land on the soft field? All right. I passed, just past the numbers, the first center line mark. Hey, even though it's soft field, you still want to know where you're going to land, right? Yeah. Okay. Lee Summit traffic, Skyhawk 46430 in zero, turning left base for 29, Lee Summit. Miami traffic, Cessna 972, November Charlie, back taxiing 2-1, Miami County. I haven't had an A landing since that one time when we first started. <laughs> Alright, this time we need to head back, but uh, yeah. let's do a safe soft field takeoff here. I go out into the taxiway and... Oh yeah, that'd be fine, whatever. But yeah, take your time to get yourself configured.
around out here. Miami County, Cessna 972, November Charlie, departing 2-1, Miami County. Hey, not using the brakes, just the rudder. 